Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings. Today we have a trending news here for you and the headline of the news reads Panic in South South as they may register the highest number due to contact with U.S. doctors. But before we continue with details of the news and for the analysis, we'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so as to get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. The dreaded disease COVID-19 has spread wide into nooks and crannies of Nigeria, though some states have been doing all within their power to stop the invasion of the disease into their individual communities. But there is a lot to be talked about in South South as uh, there are panics from uh, indigenous, from residents, as uh, most of them are suspecting that uh, the number in Aquibum State may be the highest in South South. This is due to the response from one Editi F. Young Hu in Twitter who had to tweet and uh, he said here, Dear at NCDC Gov, I beg of you, I have personally identified 15 potential 15 potentially exposed people in Aquibum, we need to test. People are sick. We suspect they had contact with U.S. doctors who visited for medical outreach and says about 800 patients. He now said most affected are local medics. I mean, this is quite a serious um, situation right now and if you go through he, the response from different persons it clearly shows that it seems Aquibum do not really understand and with the way the things are going they may have the highest record of uh, this virus because it seems people do not really have deep understanding about what is currently happening as this virus is spreading very fast now to authenticate what this guy is saying another person also came up who responded to you know his tweet and the person says here one akinye tun tolu tolu says i have friends who attended that outreach they have started showing symptoms since last week this news just confirmed it all. What can we do? And this is really a terrible situation for um, Nigerians. And uh, most people are complaining that uh, NCDC, the, whoever that is behind the phone numbers, are be behind uh, re response points that they have not been responding as expected. And this has brought a lot of um, trouble to the minds of mostly those who are in Aquibum and uh, response are coming in I mean, this guy posted these are some you know 12 hours ago and there are a lot of response now one of the guys um, one of the um, persons who responded said that even as he is talking currently that there are a lot of burials and wedding that is taking place in Aquibum State and now I'm asking a question does it mean they do not even have an idea of what is currently trending in the country or does it mean that the governor himself does not know what is currently happening the pandemic that is uh, currently uh, ravaging the health of people in Nigeria. Now, with what they're talking about, uh, according to a DTFO, it clearly shows that um, more than 800 people may be susceptible to the virus, may be infected with the virus. Now, I, I, he, later on, after some hours, he now responded again or came tweet again. He said, I have been contacted by at NCDC Gov. A rapid response team has been deployed, but there is, of course, a lead time before they arrive. In the, main, in the meanwhile, Aquibum has no test kit. We are hustling that mm, We are hustling that now. If you get kits, I beg, do like this. Now, you know, this is really unthinkable. If a whole state does not have a test kit, it therefore means the people they are actually doomed because the thing will come like a wildfire and guess what it may consume a lot of persons and i think they need to heed the advice of 
a, you know, a World Health Organization for people to stay back at home and stay off going to ceremony, having contacts with people. Social distancing right now is overly important. Some friends told call me and said they were going to come to my house and all of that. I told them I'm not entertaining any visitor right now. I'm sorry. It may sound very odd. It may sound very terrible, but I just want to ensure that they are protected I am also protected. Now, the question is, um, fingers have been pointed to the U.S. Um, medics, that's U.S. medical doctors, who visited the state for a medical outreach. Now, what uh, Editi, if you has not said here, is he has not opened up on uh, when did they visit, you know. But from what he's saying, he said that already uh, most of these guys are already showing symptoms of the sickness. We are not so sure if it is the sickness. But if he has said it and another person have confirmed that uh, that in this of this same outreach, medical outreach, all of them that he knows that they are already showing the signs. My brother, it therefore means something terrible is about to happen in a quibum state. Now, uh, who is to be blamed for this? And I will tell you the whole truth. It's the government. The government is to be blamed for this. Why do Nigerians rush after um, foreign company, foreign nations when they come in with medical outreach? It's because we do not even have a quality uh, uh, health care facility to provide health treatment to Nigerians. And that's why whenever we see people from nooks and crannies, even when we know that they are more terrible disease that can be transmitted through your contact with these people, Nigerians don't really care. They still want to get those men because hey the country that they have found themselves have not been able to stand on their feet to provide healthcare services to nigerians now one of the things i want to say here is the people who are behind this if you have been given money to provide any form of uh, constituency projects for your own state which may be like maybe health center or stuff like that and you eat that money i want you to know that the people that are dying in that particular community or dying in that particular environment are, their blood will be put upon your head and the money you are eating is actually blood money because if you know how you have disadvantaged the people by your actions, you would have called yourself to order. Imagine what is happening right now. Medics came in, possibly they it may have been between the period of December till date. Or I don't really know the exact time they came in. Maybe it could be from December uh, or it could be January, it could be February. And they came in not knowing, Nigerians not knowing that these people who are coming in here may have been infected with the virus. Because as at that time, since it was not spread to the United States of America, who even knows if these people had jumped from one state, from one country to the other, you don't know if they were sent from China, you don't know if they were sent from United States, or maybe they have traveled into other places where they have already been infected, and they come in with that infected body, they now infected aquibomites because there are no medical facilities. Okay, the deed has already been done. What is the state government currently doing right now to make sure that they stem down the rate of spread of this virus in a, a, in, in a quibum state? Well, that's one question that the governor has not been able to answer. Imagine if you have not locked down your state up till this point. That's why I, I always like to give thumbs up to the likes of Wiki, who is very, very, you know, proactive. He he responds immediately. He's not somebody who who who, who waits until things happen before he will. He's very proactive. Imagine him and Diri of Bielsa State. I'm talking about Wiki and by Diri of. They've already locked down all the land, uh, this thing, uh, land uh, boundaries. Anything that would have led to the flow in of people into their own communities, into their own states, in whatever form, they have stopped it. As at yesterday, as at this morning when I was watching TVC, I noticed that they locked it down to the point that they wouldn't even allow you to trek from wherever you are across into their own state just to show you how serious these people are. The same thing is also happening in, uh, in Cross River State. That guy over there, for the first time, because I know his people have been complaining a lot, so many times, you know, about his attitude. But hey, this time around, he's been so careful. Maybe because the wife is a medical doctor and possibly must have told him the effect of such, the spread of such virus. And I know he is a digital governor and he may have more ideas about what will happen if that thing enter into his state. 
across River State have already stopped Akwa Ibomad, stopped the flow of anything called vehicle into Cross River State because of, of what? They just want to see how they can quarantine the people they have because right now nobody can really tell how many people have been infected who are still walking down the street and who are still going to market. So the best thing is lock down, ensure that the market is not flowing at this point. Let's see how we can manage for the next two weeks and possibly those who have the symptoms, it will begin to pop out and then you quarantine them and know that at least you have been able to stop the spread. Most schools, all the schools in, in, in so many states have closed down. But guess what? Based on the information I've gotten here, it clearly shows that Akwaibum seems not to be fully informed about what is happening in the country. And before you know, with what if the information provided by these Twitter users is actually true, it therefore means it's going to, what is going to happen in Akwaibum state will be unthinkable. This is a call out to those who are, you know, in charge of media and the likes in Akwaibum state to respond speedily to see how they can, you know, enforce uh, control measures that will help to stop the flow of uh, uh, coronavirus in the state. This is overly important. If they don't take it important, and guess what? When it hits the state, before you know, somehow, somehow, it will crawl into the hiding of even politicians who claim that they are leading the state. It's a time for everybody to wake up. And this guy has done so much. Thumbs up to him for him to carry the cross of the state. This is the work that the state government should be doing or the commissioner of, of health in a quiet moment they should be doing but he has abandoned his responsibility another person has decided to pick it up and is crying for demanding that at least this kids should be you know brought into a quiet moment so that they begin to test those people who have had a, 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 a kind of a, a, a contact with the u.s doctors who came for a medical outreach all right that's where we're going to leave it please what do you think should be done by the quiet moment?